sorry, does that hurt? Does that still hurt? Okay. Y'all, this child, y'all can't even see it. Hold on. How, how bad it is uh, yeah yours is not that bad because some people because yeah i was chasing silas uh-huh um when we were outside hey y'all it's me um my mood's gonna be a little off in this particular part of the vlog i wasn't sure if i want to record this or not because i like to come to you guys happy and you know but this is life so i wanted to just share this part because this is what I'm going through. I'm dropping JB off now at camp. Um, it is the, towards the, it was mid-June. Um, my husband's back, which is good. Baby, he came back. I, it's so good to have some masculine energy in the house. He came back and just started taking charge of stuff. Um, healthy, healthy masculinity, okay? Not that toxic shit. So just having JB to, uh, him and JB cutting, you know, the trees and doing stuff around the house that I just don't have time for and I just don't want to do. Sorry, my camera stopped. I don't know why. So just let y'all know the last few days, my husband's back. Maybe, I don't know where the camera cut off, but my husband's back. He's been back for two weeks now. Um, but I have been completely out of it. I have a, a condition that I, I really don't feel comfortable sharing. Maybe I will one day, but right now I don't. It affects me on a daily basis, but especially when I'm under stress or anxiety, it is crazy. So the week before my husband came, I could already feel it. I, I know my body. I can feel it. I was getting anxious about him coming. I was getting really stressed out with work. Um, I did, thankfully, it is a catch-21. Those of you don't know, I, I have multiple streams of income coming in, which means I work multiple jobs. Um, Reddit and my main job. Very busy with both. Well, bit more busy with Reddit, actually. But besides that, just having to do that, manage the household, manage my child, the anxiety. It's like a good anxiety. Like, I'm anxious about him coming but also stressed because now it's like, okay, I wasn't cooking when he wasn't here that much. But as a family, I typically cook two to three times out of the week. He noticed me, y'all. It's so good to have someone that really knows you. He noticed me immediately. He knew something was wrong. He's like, I can, I'll order food. You don't have to do any of that. I think I've cooked twice in the past two weeks, which is not like me, but I can't physically do it. So what's going on, girl? So my body hurts. I'm sore. I'm in pain. On a scale of one to 10, it's a 12. And those, any of you who know anything about pain management, if it gets up to that level, it's gonna take a while to get down, even with medication. So I tried to do any and everything. I knew my body was getting out of control. I tried to do everything to calm down. I was taking my Lexapro, my Boris Barone. I was taking two different type of anxiety medications. Praying, getting in the massage chair multiple times a day, drinking calming tea, doing meditation, and it just wasn't working. When my husband came back, I thought it was okay. The second day, it was so out of control, so so painful, painful, y'all, that I couldn't even sleep. I could barely sleep. So I decided to make an appointment at the urgent care location I needed. I either needed gabapentin or Vicodin. I'm now on my, I think my third day of taking it. Third, no, fourth day of taking it and I still feel it. And we're, we're gonna be going to Austin, y'all, in a few more weeks and I just, I literally have been laying in my bed working or on the couch working for like, four days straight I can't get out of I can't get up I mean I can but I can't sit up for long periods of time <sighs> all right y'all so yeah I mean it's what it is I mean my entire right hand is whack my legs all the way up to my chins 
the medicine is working. It's just gonna take a while. All right, baby, we're on the way. JB's going to camp. On top of that, I have a dentist appointment because a couple of days ago on Tuesday, you know, it says an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Girl, no, it don't. I was eating an apple, minding my business in bed, eating my green apple. Y'all, on this medication, this gabapentin, I think suppresses your appetite because I have not been eating this much. I'm forcing myself to eat, right? Baby, I'm eating this apple. Why, when I was eating, I feel a back, the back molar break up, break off, a little bitty piece of it. I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't play about my teeth, y'all. Now, yeah, I got missing teeth. Of course, not of course. I got missing side teeth, but I don't even play about that. So I have uh, partial dentures that I put in. I'm supposed to be wearing them every day just because my teeth will shift without them. Hold on, y'all. Slow down. I should probably take those with me to the dentist. So I thought maybe I could feel it like the edge. And I'm thinking, oh my God, a cavity fell out. Child, I went to go look back at that apple and I feel the heart pieces. No, it's part of my teeth. The back, excuse me, y'all, the back, a little piece of the molar. Like, it, it's really small. Just broke off. That's why I thought, thought it was uh, feeling. I went to Walgreens. I got something that call a feeling because I'm paranoid about my nerve or something being exposed. I don't know what's down there, child. So, got a dentist appointment this morning for that. Stop by my nail shop. I'm going to see Trey in tomorrow. Got a nail appointment. And then Saturday, we're cool. I'm relaxed. I'm not doing anything. I've already started to pack, y'all, for the trip. Then Sunday, we're going to Austin. And hopefully, I can relax. Because right now, I'm not relaxing. I My anxiety is high. Um, I started new medication for my condition soon. I've been on it before. And I'm okay. And my doctor's like... You know, it's a, it's, it's a catch-21. He's like, your symptoms are very low. You're someone who could probably get away with not being on any medication. But my, just speaking to my husband, my thing is that I would rather be on something that, than not be on anything. Because I would hate for something major to happen. And I regret it because I wasn't on medication to help my condition. So yeah, y'all, like right now I'm extremely tired because I took two, uh, what, 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 what am I on? The doctor prescribed me 300 milligrams of gabapentin two times a day. The first day I took 600, nothing, still there. Next day I took 900. What puts me at a good comfortable, I'm good, it's still there, but I'm good 1200 milligrams. So I took 1,200 milligrams the next day. Then I I went back down, tapered back down to, I don't want to go all the way down because it's going to mess me up. I tapered back down to 900. So that's what's been helping me. I take 600 in the morning. Then I take another 300 midday. If I can still feel it and if it's bad, I take another 300 right before bed. But this morning I woke up and it was bad. So I immediately took my 600. That's why I'm a little loopy. And yeah, I mean, y'all, it's just a damn mess. I need to get my body on the Hey, y'all. It's starting to be a little bit better day for me. I'm feeling a little bit better. I took some more medicine. I'll probably take one more gabapentin right before. Child went to the dentist. Y'all, dentist don't be playing. She said, I need to get my wisdom teeth pulled. Yes, I still got my wisdom teeth because my big ass mouth can hold it. But my teeth are starting to move. As they do, your teeth move. So, since this molar cracked, she showed me the images and was like, yeah, don't y'all love technology? They can show you everything. She showed me how my molar is basically doing this. On t I'm sorry, my wisdom teeth is doing this on the molar and right below, there's a little bitty space where food can go in and you can get you know, cavities. So she recommended a filling or a crown. And she definitely said, I need to get my wisdom teeth taken out. Baby, I, I don't know about that, y'all. I don't know about, let me know how, if you were, have you been older getting your wisdom teeth pulled? 
I've heard of so many people having issues getting their wisdom teeth full. I'd rather go on a knife and get my and, and get a and have a C-section to get my wisdom teeth full. I'm gonna do the filling because maybe the crown is like a thousand dollars. I told her eventually I would do the crown, but I mostly eat on this side anyway. Child, I used a JB helped me use a little derma filling thing to it's like something you can put in your mouth temporarily when you have a broken tooth child jb was all in there packing the dentist started laughing she said he did a good job i said thank you ma'am headed home got a couple of things to wrap up for work uh and i'm done i may put y'all i easily put in 30 hours at reddit this week child so, and I need to talk to my manager because now the contract ends at the end of next month. Y'all, the time goes by like this. I started with Reddit in September of last year. My contract renews every quarter. Well, quarter three ends at the end of July. Yeah, no? No, quarter two. Yeah, I don't know. The quarter's about to end. Hey. But look, real quick, I just got back from, uh, y'all, if you don't know, I'm cultured. My ass is cultured. So I can say hello in like half a dozen languages. Seriously. So um, I met there and I see a, an Indian looking individual. So I say, hi, namaste. He said, he looked at me. He said, namaste. He said, where are you from? I said, from here actually. So after a while, I said, what do you think I, where do you think I was from? He blurped out some part of India. This is the second time I've gotten someone from that area thinking that I'm one of them. I want to say I'm not one of them. You one of us. At the vape shop, and no, so this individual was from Afghanistan. At the vape shop, the guys from Nepal. He asked me the same question. He was like, "Where are you from?" I said, I'm "From here." You don't you don't recognize his accent? He told me, and I've had other people from other countries tell me that they don't, they can't tell. Like we wouldn't be able to tell what part of India someone's from you know they just sound Indian but anyway this individual this guy was like where are you from he said oh, your parents from Afghanistan I'm like what I said no they're from here they from here. he started laughing he said you you look like you could be from Afghanistan I think it's the hair y'all maybe it's the hair and the I don't know but I have met especially my husband my husband actually looks Indian. But again, he doesn't look Indian. They look like him. Cause he's he's from he's from the culture where man came from. Excuse me, from man where man started. He's from the country, I should say, where man started. So no. Hey y'all, it's the weekend. I'm feeling better, I'm looking better. The day before we go out, I got some stuff. I got me a little wine. I'll probably have me like two glasses of wine because we're gonna be really drinking, drinking on this trip. We're gonna be sick. I'm gonna try not to go crazy because I don't wanna cause, the alcohol causes inflammation. And like I said, I'm in nerve pain. I don't wanna be crazy. But <laughs> the restaurant we're going to is in our hotel. So my husband was like, you, we can have as much as we want because all we're doing is walk into our, our hotel. I'm like, don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. Nah, y'all, I can't, I can't drink that much at this place. Three days of drink, well, including today, it'll be three days of drinking straight. Yeah. So y'all, we're on the way to raise a cane because somebody wants some canes, AKA JB. Um, baby, I have to pull my hair back. One is hot, two, y'all. There's something about men love women's shoulders. I notice whenever I wear a dress that shows my shoulders, I guess you can see my pulse in my neck. I don't know. My hair was down. I I, I know that I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty girl, and I used to be able to really turn heads when I was in my early 30s, and not so much now. I'm just gonna be honest, not so much now. But baby, today. <laughs> I've caused a few men, a few, a few men, your daddy, 
stop what he's doing and turn. No, a couple of men has, I've, I've noticed. Hell, one guy, we were at 7-Eleven. Uh, I saw him looking at me. He was a silver, silver fox. He was older and was all silver beard. He stopped what he was doing, stopped. Looked at, looked at me while I was getting in the car. And I don't even think, like, this dress I have on makes me look pregnant, I think. But they're looking at my face and hair. So, yeah, girl. So, I, and then when I went to, to the other store, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a little too much attention. Let me put it back and put it up. Um, Y'all, when I was younger, I used to, I'm telling you, like, my co-workers would, would laugh at it. They would, they would say, Vivian, when we go out, we see the men literally track you as you're walking. It doesn't even help that. Come on, girl! Sorry, y'all. Golly, these folks can't. Dallas people can't drive worth shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Y'all, it is warm, warm, warm. 88 degrees. It's humid, though. <sighs> Iced tea is on, you know what? I'm gonna give me some lemonade too. Baby, what you want? Three pieces of chick, I mean three pieces of toast. Why is he why is he all this big ass? What is he what is he serving? Oh himself in the cane cup. Yeah, I'm so country. So you got three toasts, an uh, extra cake sauce, an uh, extra finger, a kid's lemonade, and then a regular lemonade. Um uh, Did you do the fry in there? The fry? Yeah. No, okay. Not. Yeah, I think you said cane sauce. It was a crinkle cut fries. So you said the cane sauce instead of the fries, or the fries instead of the cane sauce? Correct. Okay. Well, that's why. Yeah. Five. 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 It's um the straw the straws got switched. So your straws with him and then his straws. With him. You know what? You kinda of did something like this last time. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Here you go, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 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 Listen, I closed last night. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Where's your manager at? Tell him that you gotta go. <laughs> to, to, it, it's too much. You can't even get my damn straws right. Nah, I'm sorry. You're okay, baby. Here's our order. You have a good one. You too, honey. Take Thank care. You. Mm -hmm. you go, baby. <laughs> this is the first time I've had something to eat. This is not good. Oh, here. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. I wanted to just introduce and say, but I, I know, because I, I think I would have kind of snapped a little bit. I would have done a, a very um, spirit of discernment snap. Hold on, baby.